let us see the next class of uh, clippers that is uh, shunt clippers uh, so shunt clippers are slightly different than the series uh, clippers uh, different is in the now the RL the load the re and the resistance and the diode positions are interchanged that's the only difference and now the voltage V out is taken across not the resistance but the diode so shunt positive clipper means what is going to remain is everything above the, a particular level is going to get so let us see that operation here so it is slightly different as compared to the series clippers so now first let us see the shunt positive clipper and why it is called as the positive clipper so similarly now what we can do is we will just try to explain the waveforms with the help of uh, an example so we have a input which is a sine wave okay and of course it will vary with time so we show the time axis so this is your sine wave now what happens is it is very easy it should be noted that my input is sinusoid so when I apply the input the diode does not turn on until 0.7 volts voltage is reached so until that this whatever we are applying on the input side apply appears at the output the moment the diode turns on this diode is short circuiting the two output terminals and what remains is just one diode voltage drop so when the diode turns on we get at the output that is one diode voltage drop so that we can indicate by this that now let us say if we are increasing the input the input is increasing 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 and it is going up to let us say first it reaches 0.7 volts at 0.7 volts this diode will turn on and if the diode turns on the current will instead of flowing to the instead of the current flowing into the output it will now flow into the diode so diode actually acts like a short circuit or it acts like a conductor with just plus 0.7 volts drop across it so now V0 is actually the voltage across the diode and that is just 0.7 and that is why beyond 0.7 volts of the input we get just 0 0.7 volts at the output so that is my input input output characteristics that is what we are going to see in this now what happens here is let us see that using a waveform so this is the input sine wave and we know that uh, let us see the output now so I'm just drawing one more waveform below it and uh, So this is my 0 let us mark 0 0.7 and then we have Vm that is the maximum voltage Vm so let us just show that level 2 because uh, we should know how much is the reference value and so on so during the positive half cycle when the output tries to increase so at this point as soon as the input reaches 0.7 the diode starts conducting and so when the diode starts conducting we get just 0 0.7 volts at the output when the output falls so when when the input falls this diode again becomes reverse bias and output then follows the input signal so that is how we show that the input is going to follow the output follows the input below 0 0.7 and at 0 0.7 since the diode turns on we have a so slight variation it, we, we may have an application where we need to do such kind of a clipping or a wave shaping technique so we may require such kind of a wave shaping technique now let us see similarly the shunt negative clipper so now what happens is now we need to move towards the 
negative side that is now when V in so again V in is this particularly but in a shunt negative clipper the diode is reversed now so what happens is when the output goes above point 0.7 this diode is completely reversed bias or it, when the diode when the input is positive the diode is reversed bias and hence we get whatever is at the input we will get at the output but when the input falls below 0 0.7 so this is grounded and if this is below 0 0.7 then this diode is forward bias so this is 0 and this is negative so diode is forward bias and hence the diode conduction starts and immediately at the output we get one diode voltage drop but this time the diode voltage drop is negative so here we have a negative voltage drop and that is how we can show using this output characteristic so this point is now minus 0 0.7 and the output that we get when the diode turns on is also minus 0 0.7 let us see that using a waveform so we again start off with the input signal which is again a sinusoidal signal and uh, we draw input and output so I draw a sine wave first so sine wave is a very easy wave to you know test the waveform that is why we draw the sine waves in particular and 0.7 volts is below that so what we will get at the output is such a voltage so if you want we can just show this this is a minus 0 0.7 volts line and when you again project these points below this is how we get exactly reverse of and our let us this is zero and let us notify the zero levels this is my vm my minus of vm so the first waveform is the input and the second waveform is nothing but v out and needless to say this level is also vm so there is a slight this thing difference that's it nothing much now again in the shunt combination we may have biases okay in series with the diode or without not in series with the diode so let us see again that now we will see shunt clippers but the biased combinations so we have shunting but biases so how we do you have this so this was a positive shunt clipper but now it is biased and in this in figure B the polarity of the voltage source is reversed now because of that what happens here is let us look at the input now when V in is positive okay we have one diode voltage drop and then we have a V so unless V in increases V plus 0.7 volts this this diode is not going to conduct and that is why the output follows the input till V plus 0.7 when the diode turns on the voltage V naught is going to become equal to this because the current is going to flow in this way then otherwise the current flows in this direction therefore V out equal to V in but the moment this branch starts conducting it's like a short circuit and V naught is going to be now V plus 0 0.7 and that is exactly what we have shown here similarly in this when the output reaches minus V plus 0.7 that time the diode is going to turn off and that is why turn off that is why the output follows the input beyond this point and not below this so if we take this point here is this is what we are going to get so if I move this point on this side and I project on this 
this is the operation that we get in the figure B now let us see that that using a waveform so that is going to be slightly different now so let us see that so I hope it is this diagram is so visible and uh, so we start off drawing a sine wave first and then we go to minus v plus 0.7 and v plus 0.7 so we let us draw those two voltage levels and again when you project when you so this is a shunt so what happens is when you go above this the diode starts to conduct and what we get at the output is this waveform so before that we need to project these points on this so how do we draw this so these are the points and when you project it on the figure A output this is how we mark the points very carefully and this is this level is my zero point so this is V plus zero point seven and the level can be marked in this particular way and when where both these intersect these two points if we take so we need to show a flat top there so we have Vm V plus zero point seven zero minus V and zero point seven this is the minus Vm level so this is V in and we have V out of figure A and then we have similarly V out of figure B so this is 0 volts and this is minus Vm so how do we show this now of figure A is we need to project these points so these points when we project down project this down so you can see how the waveforms are drawn that is also important how to draw the waveform then I show this is a zero axis and I draw, draw just this line which is the reference and, and when I show T I can write so this is the VM line then this is minus Vm plus 0 0.7 and minus Vm so how do we draw this line now so this is the output that we will get so slightly different not very different so now we need to see that whenever the output crosses the reference the output becomes a straight line because of the diode conduction so if the reference is this everything above this is going to get clipped off and if the output is this, this then we get a constant voltage at this particular point and followed and then when it ex goes below this particular reference we get the output follows the input and then again it maintains its reference so where we stre wherever we see a straight line during that time the diode is on and whenever so in this figure a there is a straight line so at this place we can say the diode is on and whenever there is a straight line in this we say that this during this time the diode is on 
so wherever you see straight lines we can also imply that during those time instants the diode is on okay so that is the shunt action and that is nothing but the biased positive clipper so on a similar guideline again we have a biased negative clipper diode polarity is reversed and similarly we have a voltage source and a negative voltage source so the biasing polarity is reversed and based on that we have an input now when the input exceeds V minus 0.7 the output follows the input the rest all it is so wherever you see the straight line the diode is going to turn on so remember one simple rule wherever you see straight lines there at that place the diode is turning on and whenever you see slant lines during that time the diode is going to turn off or whenever output follows the input in a shunt circuit that is when the diode is off so very similar and analogous to the first one and that is how so let us see the waveform now so we have again a sine wave and now we just have so when we again draw the circuit let us draw the circuit now so circuit is already drawn actually what we need to draw is the waveform so we draw a sine wave and then again you show two references this V minus 0 0.7 then we have Vm and minus V minus 0 0.7 again minus so we have these uh, levels in place okay and of course we immediately note down what these points are so for the positive reference we have a different waveform and for a negative reference we have a different waveform so of course this is the time axis and this is my zero point and we st this is the input ok so this is the input now how do you draw the output so again we will have two outputs because we have two different uh, biasing points and let us so first draw that So this is V out of figure A and then similarly let us look at V out of figure B and let us mark Vm V minus 0 0.7 now minus Vm here you have Vm here you have 0 minus V minus 0 0.7 Vm. So we need to first mark the axis properly, and again, when you project this point with that particular level, you get get these levels here so straight lines indicate diode is on and when the output follows the input we say that the diode is off and similarly now here we have a reverse way of drawing it then we again project these points on these lines and similarly when you okay so these are the
the points so this is the operation of shunt clippers so next in the next lecture we will see something about uh, camp clampers a different uh, signal processing circuit thank you